I think today the greatest obstacle to implementing security practices is that both within the government and with industry and academia there is a wide variety of, of priorities. And so chemical, a chemical event is, uh, is a significant event, but it's not something that happens every day. So it's, it's keeping people's eye on the ball. Over the last few years, the norm against the use of chemicals as weapons has definitely been eroded. You have non-state actors using it in governed and ungoverned territories. You have state actors using it for assassinations. There's just, there used to be a norm against the use of chemical, chemicals as weapons and that has gone away. So I think the next steps are to really help some of the countries, the at-risk countries, where they do not have good chemical security regulations in place and they don't have a good law enforcement, public health uh, and intelligence uh, uh, nexus there so that some of the developing countries to help the, the, uh, the more uh, or some of the developed countries to help the developing countries so to go to these at-risk places and, and, and bring folks together there.